today we're having a look at this. It's a DC to DC buck converter from AliExpress and this converts a higher voltage to a lower voltage. The reason I bought this is because I have a car dash cam and the car mounting kit that I bought for it produces loads and loads of noise. Uh, not physical noise but RF noise and it really upsets the radio in my car. So what I thought I'd do is buy one of these set it to 5 volts and uh, replace the converter that's in the adapter kit. But before I put it in my car, I wanted to test it and just make sure that it could do what I needed it to do. And to do that, I'm going to connect it up to my bench power supply and set it to 13.8 volts. And then I'm going to connect it to my BK Precision electronic load. And I'm going to set it initially to 100 milliamp load and I'm going to set the output of the DC to DC buck to 5 volts. I'm then going to keep winding up the current until it falls out of regulation or dies. So without further ado and by the magical power of editing let's skip to it all soldered up and ready to go. I know the connections look a bit ropey but it's okay. So we have set the digital load to 100 milliamps and I've set the DC to DC a buck converter to 5 volts and uh, that looks pretty good actually. It's got to be between, I mean ideally 4.75 to 5.25 volts so 5.1 is fine and it seems to be regulating well at 100 milliamps. Let's start up winding that up a little bit and see, uh, see how well it copes with that. Looks pretty good at 200. I mean I only really need it to be good to up to I think it's about 800 milliamps or something like that so as long as it can do that I'm happy but I'm also going to take it right to its limit and just see when it falls out of regulation anyway. Three hundred is fine. Four hundred fine. Five hundred dropped a little bit but it's still within what I need it to be. Still within. And 700 it's fine. This is why I need it to be good. But it is, that's absolutely fine. Let's wind it up to an amp. Okay, it's still within tolerance. One and a half amps. Okay, a little bit lower, but it would still work. And by the time it sort of gets to two amps, it's... Uh, it's out of the ideal range really, but again, it would probably still work. But for me, that's absolutely fine. You know, down at the 800 milliamp mark, that's gonna work really, really well for me, I think. Yep, nothing wrong with that at all. Just over five volts at 800 milliamps, that'll be absolutely perfect for the car. That's not a bad little buy from AliExpress really. Uh, they were they were quite cheap. I think they were so sort of eighty p each um, shipped, and I bought five of them. I'm sure I find uh, a use for them elsewhere. But that's about it, really. If you enjoy watching videos about cheap stuff from AliExpress actually working, then please like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you. Bye bye.